G'day, just a quick video on replacing the outer CV joint. Now it's just going to be a generic video, it doesn't, it's not going to apply to any particular vehicle, just showing you how we do it. So we've taken the, the brake rotor out of the way, we've disconnected the bottom ball joint and that control arm we've just braced it with a chain so it's out of the way. And you can see that the CV is in on the other end and this side's on this end. So we've taken off these little clamps off the rubber boot, these ones, and now we just push that boot out of the way. We're going to replace the boot as well. Give that grease a little bit of a clean. Now because I'm not taking the whole CV out, to get the other end out you've got to manoeuvre the, the transmission out of the way, lift or lower the motor, lift the uh, steering linkages out of the way, probably even push the whole motor towards the front so you can get it out, not much room there. Anyway what we've done is we've clamped the CV shaft here and the idea is because there's a little spring spring circlip in that outer CV joint that's caught on the spline so we've got to actually slide hammer it off I've put the the outer bolt on there and I'm just going to slide hammer it out now hopefully that clamp will be holding enough so it doesn't pull out of the transmission or the, the diff and also so it doesn't pull that inner CV apart either. And I've got our slide hammer and if that clamp holds properly it should be alright. There we go. Just come out nice and easy. If you have a look here, it's a little bit greasy, but there's a little circlip there that holds it on those shafts. Splines there. And just see, so you can see that little circlip. That's what actually holds those splines in the outer CV joint. Uh, uh, it comes with the new one or not. We'll just slide that boot off as well. I'm going to replace that boot. It's got a rip in it there. Look at that, hot chips. Okay, we're going to replace the old washer there. Probably reuse the old one anyway with the new one. Actually, before I put that on, I forgot the boot. I put a bit of grease in there already. Should just slide over it. Okay, I've got the boot on. I've slid it a little bit further than what we would. Put that back on there. Make sure your circlip's on there on the end. I've repacked, that's the new out of CV, repacked it, filled it up with grease. I probably put too too much the whole tube in there, so some of that's probably going to make a mess. And then basically we just line up the splines. Got our brass drift. You can see it's it's seen better days. 
and we've still got the clamp set up there mallet and it just should just flick right in there and there you go and that's how we replace the outer CV on a CV drive shaft and we just pull back that rubber boot going to make a little bit of mess. On the uh, inner side there there will be like a little groove or a little slot where the end of that boot sits and the the same on the, the actual CV joint. And that just sits in there like that. There we go. And now you can either put the steel straps on there or even those plastic tie down strips just to hold that rubber so it doesn't fall off. There we go, new boots on. I've got the strap on the outer side. I just put a tie down strip on the inside one. And you just support that with a pair of pliers and you can just push that down till you hear a couple extra notches just so it's tighter there. Clean all the excess grease off. Don't forget to put a little bit of grease on the splines there. This basically shows you how to replace the, the outer CV hub or sometimes you, you reuse your old one, you're just changing the boot but that's how we do it. Now we can remove the clamp, put it all back together Put the ball joints back in. Job's done. Any comments or questions, leave them in the section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Throw us some beers if any of this information has saved you some money or time or both. A few beers, much appreciated. Keeps us motivated. Thank you for watching.